Now let's solve question number six. This question is from first chapter real numbers and the question states find a rational number between root two and root three. Root two and root three both are irrational numbers and you have to find one rational number between these two given numbers. So this is the answer. You can also take the value 1.6, 1.7 rational number between 1.414 and 1.732 approximately. These two are the approximate values of root 2 and root 3 respectively. So between these two numbers you can take any rational number. For example here we have considered 1.5 that means 3 upon 2 is one of the rational numbers between root 2 and root 3. So this is the answer for this question and this step will give you complete one mark for this question. I hope you understood. Now let's proceed to the next one. Now let's discuss the solutions of section B questions that means question number 7 to 12. Each question carry two marks. So this is the question number 7 from chapter real numbers and the question says find the HCF of two numbers using Euclid algorithms. That means we have to apply the concept of Euclid division lemma to find the HCF of given two numbers. Out of given two numbers, 7344 is greater than 1260. So here this is the first step of this solution. We are applying the Euclid division lemma in these two numbers. 7344 is larger than 1260. That means we are considering this number as dividend and 1260 as divisor. So when we divide 7344 by 1260 will obtain quotient 5 and remainder 1044 using the concept of Euclid division lemma. So in this step we can clearly observe that remainder is not equal to 0. That means we have to proceed for the next step. That means again we have to apply the concept of Euclid division lemma. But this time taking 1260 as dividend and remainder of the previous step that means 1044 as divisor. You have to apply the concept of Euclid division lemma. And you can write the next step in this way. So when we divide 1260 by 1044 we are obtained quotient 1 and this time remainder is 216 again not equal to 0. That means we have to go for the next step. This time again we are applying the concept of Euclid division lemma but dividend is 1044 divisor is 216 which is the remainder of the previous step. This time we are getting quotient 4 and remainder 180 again not equal to 0. Again we have to apply the concept of Euclid division lemma in numbers 216 and 180. So here when we divide 216 by 180 again we are obtaining quotient 1 and remainder 36. Again remainder not equal to 0. Then move for the next step. Now this time we are dividing 180 by 36. This time we are obtaining quotient 5 and remainder equal to 0. And this is the final step of this Euclid division algorithm. That means the divisor of this very last step will be the HCF of the given two numbers. That means 36 is the HCF of 1260 and 7344. So here this is the answer for this question. Now let's discuss the marking scheme of this question. So this step will give you half mark when we apply Euclid's division lemma first time. Here this step will give you another half mark. This one half mark and rest half mark will obtain get the answer for this question. That means 36 is the required HCF of the given two numbers. I hope you understood this question. Now let's proceed to the optional part of this question and this says show that every positive odd integer is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 where q is some integer. Again this question is from real numbers and based on the concept of Euclid's division lemma. Now let's discuss the solution of this question. First of all we are considering a b positive odd integer and we are going to apply the concept of Euclid's division lemma on two numbers a and b where b is equal to 4. That means we are taking a as dividend b 
divisor we are taking q as quotient and r as remainder so that's why we are getting this equation a is equal to 4q plus r and from this equation we can clearly conclude the possible values of r r cannot be greater or equal to 4 that means the value of r is greater or equal to 0 and less than 4 and from this step we are getting all possible values of r so here we can conclude the possible values of r are 0 1 2 and 3 and with the help of these values we can find the all possible values of a which are either 4q or 4q plus 1 4q plus 2 or 4q plus 3 but out of given four possible values of a clearly we can notice 4q and 4q plus 2 are even numbers because these two numbers are divisible by 2 so here from this step we can conclude since a is odd and a cannot be equal to 4q or 4q plus 2 and from this step we can definitely conclude the remaining two numbers is the odd form of this number a that means the answer for this question so we can write any odd integer is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 this is the final conclusion that means the answer for this question i hope you understood the solution of this question now let's discuss the marking scheme of this question so when you apply the concept of euclid's division lemma so this very important step will give you half mark and then when you obtain the all possible values of remainder r this step will give you another half mark and when you reject the two values two possible values of a that means 4q and 4q plus 2 this very important step will give you another half mark and rest half mark will be given on this last step so in this way you can score 2 out of 2 for this question i hope you understood the solution of this question now let's discuss next question